three, two, one. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one props nominal. Stage one entry startup. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing range startup. Stage one landing leg deploy. Falcon 9 has landed. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, today we're uh, test flying the new Max-Q Rockets Firefly. Uh, very simple little rocket, uh, entry level by design. And uh, we're just going to fly it on a simple A83 motor. And I'm running the Max-Q 15 inch orange parachute. Uh, a bit breezy, but it's kind of comes and goes, so hopefully it'll die here in a second. But the sky is working out really nice. Got some patches of clouds, but for the most part it's clear. So we shouldn't have any problems zooming in. That's, that's my goal is to get some good footage of the uh, Apogee. Okay, so scanning the skies. Skies are clear. Winds are what they are. Okay, igniter is armed. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Uh oh. It, uh, we had a. Okay, we had a separation. Okay, nose cones down. Well, that didn't work out as planned. <laughs> I was running Kevlar in there. Oh man, we really tore up those fins. They did not like the landing, but the body's fine. Huh, it's like the Kevlar ripped actually. Doesn't even look like it burned right there. It just, uh, that's weird. Okay, well, we'll go see the other end and see what it, man, that fin looks really rough. <laughs> so, okay, well not the best start, but the rocket's fine. We'll get a new fin set made up and we'll, we'll go from there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next up is the Rocketarium VK7. And uh, just a quick uh, update on the last flight, the Firefly. Rocket did everything it was supposed to do, the stupid Kevlar just, and it didn't even burn through because there was no scorching around it, it just tore, which is really, really bizarre. Just dumb luck. Anyway, uh, the VK7, the purpose of this flight is to test out my new uh, PS2 controller because we're launching the dual motor on here. So I've got the dual uh, clips on it. But I want to prove this effective before we get to the uh, grand finale here at the end, which you probably already know what it is, but I'll, st I'll still hold the suspense a little bit. So running the VK7 on two C6.5s with a 30-inch parachute. I'm running the RFC and the egg timer ion for comparison. And I've got the audio readback, so we'll hear the, uh, the live audio of the launch. Okay, let's go ahead and arm it. The 
the winds are kind of sporadic. Um, it kind of comes and goes with gusts, so hopefully it'll be relatively calm when I hit the button. <laughs> Waiting for the signal. Okay, there we go. We're running a VK7 on dual C65s going in five, four, three, two, one. Both lit. 200 feet high altitude. Beautiful. 173 feet. Perfect. 100 feet. Okay, land softly, please. Ah, so so. Kind of caught a bush, actually. All right, let's go get it. I'm thinking now maybe a C63. I'll have to go back and watch the video. I wonder if that was too long a delay. Five seconds, that seemed like forever. <laughs> but, uh, okay, it landed in a rocky patch, but the fins do look good, fortunately. Yeah, they did, they did just fine. Okay, the nose cone's what was in the bush with the parachute. So everything looks good. Uh, a little over 200 feet. So I'd say we're back on track for success. And uh, let's see, what's up next? I don't know, we'll, we'll pick out a rocket and see what's flying next. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next up we've got the ESAM 58, also known as the RAV6, and now we're running with the booster. We're going to do an air start here. Uh, the booster is running an F15-4, followed by an E12-6 on the sustainer, running the uh, ACE unit for primary deployment. we got a backup as well, both have 30-inch chutes. Running the RFC and the ION, with an onboard camera also. So right now there's a lull in the wind. This is the time. Let's go ahead and arm our altimeter. Okay, once we get the signal, well, let me arm the, the plug. Okay, lights on. Wait for the signal. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Well, skies are clear. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh no. High altitude 387 feet. Okay, rockets destroyed. I can't tell what all's coming down. I guess that's the booster and the nose cone. I'm not sure what all's in the nose cone. There's the booster. I should say the air star didn't fire. And the ace, I don't know what the ace did. Where's the other chute? Oh, it's up by the sun. It's drifting though. There it is. Okay, that has the nose cone. Or is that the ace? Oh, you know what? That's the ace hatch. Yeah, that's the ace, ace hatch.
Well, that's going to take a while. It's lightweight. Well, it just stalled right there. Look, it's hovering. Well, it's just, just an effect from horizontal drift. Well, unfortunately, I guess I'm going to announce that all the electronics were probably destroyed when the rocket hit the road. So, that means any further testing today is not going to happen because I don't have any electronics. But this was supposed to test the air start system, which we were going to use on the Falcon Heavy. And um, that apparently didn't do its job, so I don't know what to think. I did do a light bulb test, and the air start was working on the ground. Boy, this thing is taking forever. We're getting close, though. Just hope it lands in the field, not in the neighborhood. Yeah, okay, we're in the field. Okay, we're down. Let me get a reference. There, just below that peak. Alright, let's go pick up the remains. Okay, walking up on the carnage here. Like I said, it's not going to be a pretty sight, so... I should put a trigger warning here on the screen. If, if you're susceptible to graphic images, look away. This is not going to be pretty. Okay, there's the front half with all the electronics. There's the back half, the camera. Let's see if it's even working. I doubt it. Oh no, it, it's, look at that. Camera ripped open. And the rocket's shredded. Look at that, never fired. Well, I mean, the impact, it's hard to tell what happened, but. Um, yeah, the igniter, in fact, is still intact, so we got no, no power to it. And like I said, it passed the uh, the ground light bulb test, so I don't know why it didn't uh, fire in the air. All right, well, we got a mess to clean up. We're gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching. Not the be not the best day, but uh, this is what happens. Take care. Bye.